Well, in some lighter news, grab your pumpkin spice lattes and your fall decorations because we're just about a month away until yes. fall season begins. Yes. A lot of us are happy about that. It means a lot of good stuff, better weather, football. But as we uh, check in here with uh, meteorologist Robert Sir again, we look at this week. We're still in summer, but we are. But uh, seasonal, not too wet, not too hot, right? Yeah, I think our hottest days are in the rearview mirror. Uh, there's some of the models that are saying early September we could get a little bit hotter again, but nothing like what we saw this time last month where we were deep inside the broiler, unfortunately. And we'll take you out to Fayetteville right now where things are nice and quiet and things were uh, below average today. Just getting to 81 degrees, 7 degrees shy of that average, which is 88. Look at that record low. That would have been nice. A nice crisp 45 degree morning in 1956. I'll certainly take that. Low deck of clouds in Fort Smith. You can see them here uh, where we also only got to 81 degrees today. One of those rare days where uh, the, the Northwest Arkansas was actually warmer than the River Valley for a good part of the day. You normally don't see that. And temperatures, as Brandon mentioned, over the next five days really kind of staying where they should be uh, in check in the upper 80s. That's right around average for this time of the year. River Valley about the same thing. Maybe warming into the lower 90s, uh, straddling that uh, average Average line here as we go through Thursday and into the weekend. Even overnight lows really not too bad. Upper 60s and lower 70s right now for your neighborhood across Northwest Arkansas. It looks like the cool spot right now is Garfield, uh, probably Garfield, Gateway, Avoca, Pea Ridge, right around 70 degrees. Slide you into the River Valley. It's a degree or two warmer, but still all that cloud cover, all that rain they saw earlier today really kind of put a lid on any temperatures rising. Real impressive uh, area of low pressure that really caused all that uh, problems uh, in and around the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. All that heavy rain now shifting off to the east across portions of Louisiana and into Mississippi. But as we go through the next 24 hours, the flow around that low will throw more moisture in our direction. Not so much tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon when we get more daytime heating, you can see some of those showers being thrown up in the Scott and Logan County, maybe as far north as I-40, as you see here right around 6 o'clock, maybe. But again, hit or miss showers, nothing to be worried about, no flash flooding or anything like that, no severe weather by Wednesday morning. Everybody drying out and clearing out. Lows tonight, we're in the lower 60s in northwest Arkansas, upper 60s, thicker clouds will hold those temperatures up a little bit in the River Valley. And then tomorrow, about the same thing where we were today, mostly in the 80s today, a few degrees warmer. Uh, than where we were today. Now, as we go through the rest of the week, not too bad with uh, lots of sunshine. No problems if you're headed to SOAR NWA on Friday. And then our next chance for precipitation comes as we get into the uh, weekend. River Valley, about the same thing. Uh, a wet, uh, moist at times on Tuesday, and then not too bad as we go through the rest of the week. Brandon, in the weekend right now, eh, maybe a shower or two. All right, not a terrible forecast at all, Robert.